Hello and welcome back our dear viewers to the Digital Talk show. Now we come to the last segment of the show that is with Mr. Faisal Rajab. How are you, Faisal? I'm very good, thank you, Dr. Rajab. How was the week with you? Very good, very good. A little bit cold, a little bit rainy. Oh, it's just getting colder and colder. Yes, yeah. and I think this is very good. That's good. Yes, we are That's putting good. on the winter clothes. We caught him for, uh, out for uh, hunting Fagia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's something, it's actually something that I really like to mushroom. do one day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, maybe, maybe, with a, maybe with the new technology we can find... Uh, you know, uh, Natural uh, mushroom? What are they called? Yes. Yeah. Maybe uh, you should something for us. Yeah. To, to find it, where is it in Kuwait? Yes, it is in the desert. Yeah, but where in the desert? Yes, we have to find something. Yes, I think we have to develop an application. <laughs> yeah, to search for these uh, mushrooms. Everything has an application nowadays. Yes, why <laughs> not? The technology, as I said to you, you need to develop. True. Please, go, what have True. you got for us today? Uh, we're going to celebrate 2012 and the end of, end of 2012 by the best gadgets that we had in 2012. Okay. Um, we're going to run through a couple of gadgets I'm sure that you guys are also going to be very excited about. These are the typical gadgets. We'll start with the Samsung Galaxy S3. These are, uh, the, these are some of the gadgets that really made it uh, popular um, uh, in 2012, if we can see the screen real quick. So this is the Galaxy S3. We'll, we'll go uh, to the next photo. That's the ga uh, Galaxy Note. It also made a big um, introduc introduction in 2012. Let's talk about the, uh, this uh, thermostat. It's a, it's a special type of uh, thermostat that basically connects to your phone mm. through an application. Now. Mm. We've seen a lot of these, uh, the, the, these are, this is not just a normal thermostat, we've seen that at home. This is a different one, why? Because it connects through um, network, your cell network and Wi-Fi. So basically you um, control it fully with your cell phone no matter where you are in the world. Nice. Now we yeah. really need that in Kuwait, I thought this was really important. If you can skip one photo also, yes, okay. So this is the application on uh, an iPhone or it could be on Android. This is how you control, it's very simple. You control the temperature, you can turn it off, on. It's very, very um, energy saving and it's good for the environment. If you can go one, one to the... To the... Yeah. So this is the iPhone 5 now. Um, according to most of the lists of gadgets, websites, and gadget companies, the iPhone 5 came as the number one uh, gadget for 2012. I, I beg to differ a little bit. I'm sure some of yes, 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 some yes, of yes. the viewers will, yes, will agree. Yeah, or yeah, yes, yeah yes, but yes, I so thought there were a lot more gadgets to uh, talk about. This is a very interesting gadget that came out in 2012, but it kind of faded out now. I'd love to have one. Um, basically, it is a wrist. Um, it's a wrist band that you wear, mm. and it counts your heartbeat. It counts how many steps you're taking. It counts how many calories you're burning, and it all um, records it on your application, just like the thermostat. But this is for your health, basically. Nice. Let's talk about the Wii for the gamers, the mm. uh, the viewers that are really into uh, gaming. The Wii U came out in 2012, and it's basically um, you spoke about 3D without. Goggles, uh, without uh, yeah. goggles Glasses. and stuff like that. This is uh, 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 Wii U is really trying to push the technology of 3D um, screens without the glasses. But so far, you can only play a game called. Um, it's just one game uh, that you can play on it so far. So th they still haven't developed it fully. Maybe next year. Uh, the Nokia. Uh, uh, came up with the uh, Nokia, uh, with the uh, Windows 8 uh, oh, application on it. Very stylish. Yes. Nice. This is the first time. Uh, okay, let's talk about the Sony... Um, PS Vita. Uh, that's, that, that's the Vita uh, placed, uh, play for by PlayStation. Yes. It is also similar to uh, the mm. Wii U, but um, they're trying to get into more into the market of Augmented reality, alternate reality, like you said. They stopped. Uh, the they stopped the PS2. The no, no yeah. more support. Yes, PS2. this is this is just the Game Boy. Uh, uh, um, it's like a Game Boy. You you hold it in your hand. It's not it's uh, not similar to uh, PS3. Correct. It's, yeah. So it's for your hands. Um, this is basically. If we can go back one more. This is a a projector that was out. Uh, it's notable to mention because it's basically very small and it's a very good projector. You only have to have an HDMI. It has an HDMI, only plug it, plug it in and it will 
basically project a full movie on whatever screen Whoa, you have. Oh, very yeah. nice, very it's, nice. It's like the very useful. Of your hand. Uh, the Windows 8. The Windows 8 uh, Microsoft Surface was out in 2012. It, uh, basically, it's a tablet. It changed things a little bit because it's, um, it basically runs a full Windows rather than um, uh, uh, running, like we talked about before. The running mobile a, Windows. The mobile Windows. It's a full not functional network, yes. yes. And it has a keyboard, nice. so it's a little different. Let's talk about this uh, uh, a little bit. This, this is was a bulb? Really, really yes, this is a bulb. Let me tell you about it a little smart bit. Smart bulb, is it? It's, it's, it's definitely a smart bulb. Yes. It's made of, let's say, not more than 20 um, uh, typical LED lights that we've seen a lot. Okay. But what's different about it is that um, there's a special liquid inside that you probably don't, you can't tell that it's there. The electricity heats it up and it uh, produces 200 or 300% more of the glowing light than normal LED. So basically it's saving energy, but it's giving you a lot more light, just like um, uh, s uh, saving energy bulbs, but it's not a gas. Sold, sold. Get me one. <laughs> yes, this, is, this was out in the, so yes, this I is not like just a I nice. would like to be the agent this is of not this, a, uh, yes, yeah. yes, sole agent. It's not a, a, not a, a distributor. It's not a typical <laughs> LED uh, what, what light. Did have. you say Selfridge or Fish Market? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> sole agent. Dr. Mohammed, not a distributor, you have someone correct, to correct. compete with you. So what, what do you have fast? Okay, <laughs> let's go now. Uh, so so before we go, what this bulb, yes. uh, is it uh, life, uh, longer life? Uh, it's definitely, it's like uh, um, LED is definitely, la it lasts for much uh, longer, longer time than like regular um, yes, light yes. bulbs. So it's really, really... Uh, not like, like neon bulb here. Yes, yes, exactly. But it's not gas-based, so mm. it doesn't have flicker. It's just like it's, it has a very nice glow to it. I yeah. see. It is environmental friendly, green uh, perhaps. Uh, it is yeah, very environmental friendly. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, take a lot of energy exactly, to, exactly, to burn. Exactly. So what okay. is this video? Okay, these, I've picked three gadgets that I really liked uh, um, personally. They're not necessarily the number one gadgets uh, that were sold in 2012. Let's talk about this camera that came out um, in 2012. This is really different. Take this light field sensor is able to capture the myriad rays of light coming from the micro lens as raw materials more than a finished photo. Wow. Here's a picture of an eye. You can see it's focused on these eyelashes. Mm -hmm. And the actual eyeball is a little bit out of focus. Exactly. But with the light field backing this, you can click on the picture and bring the eyeball into focus itself. And now you can see all the details in the iris. And it's interesting. It changed the meaning of the photo. I love this picture too. It's a cricket climbing up a leaf, and if we click around this picture, you can see, you know, the veins within this leaf, or here where this other leaf is sort of curling back on itself. Oh, really interesting, but what's this in the background? Once again, sort of inviting you to explore. And what is it? My goodness, it's another cricket in the background here. Mm, so nice. if you don't mind, I'll, I'll, nice. I'll start explaining. This camera takes all, basically it fo focuses on all points in the photo. We are used to, this is really, really remarkable for 2012. We're used to a camera that focuses on one single object, and that's it. You focus on one object, and you have it digitally on the computer, and you've got that focal point on one object. This one focuses on all the dimensions that is the on the photo, all of the surroundings, yeah, yeah. and you can digitally later on uh, digitally uh, uh, choose which part of the photo you want to uh, you want to focus on. Let's say just like the video, the cricket on the left, or if you want the click it, uh, the cricket on the right later on, you can. You can do that, or you can focus on the whole thing. So that camera is really, really special. Let's talk this about this uh, product, which is really, really interesting, I also thought. This product basically it will create energy through heating up uh, a fire. You can start cooking on it, you can heat water on it. This is very good if you're going on the camp, especially here in Kuwait. Uh, what's great about it is right now you'll see that it'll create energy which you can charge anything from cell phone to um, a light bulb to batteries to whatever you need when you're out when you, and you don't have electricity. You can just attach it and it will. And what's good about it, it, it will charge the battery inside that orange unit that you see. It has a lithium battery. So even afterwards you can, you can also charge your 
device. All, all, all of this getting from getting from the heat. From, from the, the heat. from the heat, and the heat is not going anywhere. Of course, you're cooking with it. Uh, you know, when you go uh, out. Yes, it so is very nice. For you're not going to need your car to charge. Barbecue, you're not going to you can do yes. some barbecue. About and it's it. very very small, as you can see. Mm. Nice idea. Nice idea. This was out in 2012. Uh, the mm. last video. Yes, perhaps but one I think this is very nice. Uh, yeah, uh, this technology, alternative thing. energy, the alternative ne uh, energy, sources. especially for when you're going out, you don't yeah. have to um, depend on, like, let's say, your car or bring a little uh, uh, generator. generator. It's just you have your stove and oh, like that's it. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, um, uh, it's no, not a gadget exa exactly. It's a car. It's called the Telsa. It was the produced in. Yeah. Uh, Silicon Valley, which is known for computers. Yes. I know it's not a gadget, but we're going to talk about the gadgets yes. here. If you can go a little bit uh, further, I want to tell you where the gadget thing comes in a little more. Um, a th a minute 350, I believe, when the person is inside the car, because I'm going to talk about the console. This is the first time... There we go. This is the first time they produce a car which has which you can control the whole car by this middle console and the middle console is all touch so just like a computer like let's say a, a Mac computer uh, you can control the whole car from this I know it might sound a little confusing but it actually is not because the interface is very simple to use right now you will see uh, it'll start uh, showing in the video you can basically uh, control the whole car the the uh, the roof the the lights um, the temperature inside the uh, the AC and of course you have a full navigation uh, in the middle if you can go just a little forward you, you'll see what I'm talking <coughs> about I um, think this might be uh, too complicated uh, that's what I thought there you go that's what I thought but the, the interface is done very very simple in a simple manner <coughs> you can actually control and the buttons are really big um, you always have the AC uh, uh, um, panel you always have it on no it doesn't disappear. Um, the th important things don't disappear from the screen. So, and if you can tell, there's nothing else in the car. No buttons, no middle um, uh, compartment. No. It's right. very simplified. Surface computing. The oh, and the car is also, uh, this is important to mention, it's an electronic car. It runs by electricity, not by gas. Well, ah. both. It's a hybrid. Well, I think this might be a little bit dangerous. Something happened, I don't know, there must be backup for all the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, no, it's both, it's both. It yeah. runs by gas and electricity. When you run out of electricity, it switches back to gas. And in the future, these cars will drive themselves. Yeah, by Google. You will Google. enjoy the video, you will enjoy talking to your friend Al Mullah, while the car Is takes the care of the road. The ghost-driven cars, they call them. <laughs> yeah. Scary, a little yes, bit Yes, still, road. I'm not convinced a car without a driver. Why? Uh, they might make an accident Why? because... Why? I it know, drives this is more accurate than you. This is the uh, old generation. People, yeah. I don't know. Some people don't believe that the cars will run by themselves, drive themselves, and uh, can uh, finish the drive. Maybe we should we invite you to visit Stanford University in California. Yes. Huh? There they develop this Arba car yes. that drives in Nevada, in L.A. downtown, yes. in the rush hour. Yes. And no traffic. No accident. Accident. I see. So, what, what was your favorite gadget of, of those that we showed? Uh, you have one that the, we didn't the show? heat pot with charging my, yeah. my, my, my mobile. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's excellent. That's I'm really good. I'm very good. small and compact. Yes, this is for uh, barbecue. Also, also, the thermostat controlling your home temperature very from the internet wherever you are, yeah. even outside the country. Superb idea. And very simple to install, by the way. And all of this you can, of course, buy online. Dr. Anwar, which, which gadget did you like? Well, you see, I'm, I have so many gadgets. <laughs> I like the gadgets in general. You see, I am a very techy guy. I love the techy technologies, the trends. It's fun. You see, I like this car. Yeah, the one, I like it too. Yes. When I is like your birthday? When is your birthday? <laughs> yeah. oh, you have one minute yes, to let's close. Let's, to close let's the hold it on because it's almost, what, 70,000 KD. So this is what the total yes. is going to get. No, it's not because of, <laughs> what did you say, 7,000? 70,000 KD. We wish 70, the viewer. <laughs> you asked a lot or KD, you said. Uh, we wish the viewer <laughs> happy new year. Anyway, I think we come to end to this show. I thank you very much, for Faisal. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Uh, smiley face, Dr. Mohammed. Thank you. thank you very much, everybody here in the studio and thank you very much thanks to everybody in the control room our dear viewer thank you very much for my
course, following us and watching us, I think this is the last day in this year, and we hope, and of course, this uh, the coming year is also will be peaceful for you. Uh, you can uh, uh, yes. live long and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will be for achievements and progress for your life and your families, and peace prevail everywhere on this earth, which we very much need. Until then. Please keep this good smile on your face and if somebody asks you why are you smiling, please, there is no harm in telling them you have just finished watching your favorite show that is the Digital Talk Show. Good night.